As early as 1914, Oregon colleges opened their sports programs to Asians, Indians, and Hawaiians. It was not to be until 1926 that the U of O would be the first to open its programs to two African-American football players who played against Oregon State's Indian player, Coquille Thompson, and Hawaiian Henry Hughes. Charles Williams was a hard-running halfback at Washington High School who earned first-team All-City Honors in 1923. Williams' friend and football adversary Robert Robinson started Jefferson as a standout in football, basketball, baseball, and track. Robinson would not earn a berth on the All-City team until 1925, in part because of a policy of having only one African-American All-Star at a time. During a football game against Franklin High School, the flashy Robinson was called a racial slur by a fan who came down to the sidelines threatening him. The incident was quelled when Robinson's teammates and game officials stepped in. The University of Oregon and Oregon State football coaches John McEwen and Paul Schisler both recruited Robinson and Williams, but the University of Oregon won out in part because of a scheduling mix-up. McEwen was a controversial head coach in part because the Ku Klux Klan in Medford formally protested his hiring because he was a Catholic. Robinson and Williams became stars who enjoyed the support of their teammates, but there was controversy when the coach would start them together during games. So the coach resorted to only starting them in road games. Robinson and Williams were not allowed to live on campus until their second year after their white teammates successfully petitioned to have them granted on-campus living accommodations. However, on road trips, they were not allowed to stay in the hotels with their teammates who often defiantly sneak them into their rooms at night. Robinson went exclusively to Jefferson High School, where he was very, actually, he was very popular. He was a multi-sport athlete, a good student. They don't have football players like him anymore. Robinson played quarterback. He played receiver. He played offensive halfback. He played defensive halfback. He kicked and punted and returned kickoffs and punts. He did a lot of positions that Really, African Americans didn't get into in terms of forces in the 70s, uh, in terms of physical quarterback position. Williams was more like today. He played mainly fullback and halfback, and he did play defensive back. The versatile Robinson not only played quarterback, halfback, and receiver, but also played defensive back. During a game against the University of Washington in 1929, Robinson intercepted a pass deep in University of Washington territory and was headed for a sure touchdown when Larry Westerweller, a University of Washington player, rushed from the sidelines and tackled Robinson short of the goal. The officials awarded Robinson a 92-yard touchdown anyway. Well, folks, here we go for the opening kickoff of the game between the University of Florida and the University of Oregon. <laughs> In 1929, Robinson and Williams were not allowed to play in their final game against Florida that was to be played at a neutral site in Miami. Florida refused to play against African American players, so Robinson and Williams were left at home, and Oregon lost the game. With his football eligibility finished, Robinson joined the track team under legendary coach Bill Hayward. Robinson was joined on the track team by Hewitt Allen, who was a state champion high jumper at Pendleton High School. Robinson excelled in the pole vault and set division and school records in the event. In 1930, he competed in the NCAA championships and placed second in the pole vault, thus becoming Oregon's first African-American, all-American college athlete. With their scholarships finished and a lack of funds due to the Great Depression, both Robinson and Williams gave up on their efforts to go to medical school. Williams married and returned to Portland, while Robinson continued pole vaulting in invitational meets while setting the then-Canadian pole vault record. Robinson finished his bachelor's degree in 1935. <laughs> 